Sure. So uh, great assets in Carly and Tracy having been experienced uh, with the program uh, and having relationships already developed with the athletes and, and knowing, you know, the strengths and areas of growth that, that each brings individually. Uh, so that, that put us a few steps ahead. Um, but the, the big goal for us this year is commitment to the process and taking the team instead of using, you know, the end of the season as our measurement for success, really, you know, our day to day is our is tomorrow better than today was is today better than yesterday and are we growing uh, in the different areas. It's it's a back to fundamentals approach, um, but the commitment to that process, uh, no matter what level of skill or experience we're at. Uh, we've already seen pay dividends in our play day where we um, came out with a win against Frederick Community and uh, a nice tie against Juniata. Um, so we're seeing the work pay off. Um, and the biggest thing I think in building uh, into the next season and the seasons after that is, you know, that culture of commitment to process uh, and embracing that it is a day by day. Uh, and as long as we, we give every day our best, it pays out in the end. So we want to be more competitive in Empire 8 play this year. Um, we really want to make um, a mark in the Empire 8 this year. Um, also with Coach McGaffigan coming in this year, we really wanted to take our time and like make the culture where we want to leave it for future years so that when the girls are coming in they feel a little bit more welcome and ready to go. So starting on attack, we have a new incoming player, Hannah. She's really understanding the game really well, taking it all in. So we're excited to see what she can do following preseason. Um, Allie, she's a returner. Her first year was last year. She's doing a phenomenal job. She's helping out everybody else on the field, making connections, working for each other. That's our main thing on attack right now. Um, and then we have Jackie. She's also a returner. She's a senior this year. She, some, she uh, starts in the circle as well. She's very versatile, can work the field. She has legs for it. Um, we have Middies, Quinn. She's a freshman this year. She was on the soccer team. She's very versatile as well. Um, she allows for a lot of, of balance and attack. And then also Randy, she's a senior returner. She's going to make a huge impact with goals, making the connections, uh, running midi, trans transitioning down field. And then we have defense. We have Tolman. She's a returner, senior this year. She's a great, strong lower defender, so we're excited to see what she can do. Um, then we have Sarah Turner. She's a freshman this year. She's really good uh, lacrosse IQ, can make the connections with the team really make an impact on D this year. Um, then we have Martina, she's a senior returner as well. Strong D, she's a really strong presence, so we're excited for that. And then we have uh, two goalies this year, which we're very excited about. We have Shannon, our senior returner. She's also, she's made a huge impact in her season these past four years. And then we have Paige, a freshman. We're excited to see what she could do following the season. So coming out of last year, we did lose a lot of our seniors and that was a majority of our team. So we brought a lot of new faces in this year. A lot of first year players, a lot of freshmen. Um, it's been good to see everybody kind of get along, kind of rebuild the team dynamic through this year. Preseason helped a lot with that because we were able to get the girls in who were first year players who maybe haven't played a team sport before nonetheless like played a college sport um so really kind of just interacting with them making them aware that like upperclassmen are here we're here to help we have questions you know we'll come answer them um it's just been really good to get that bond in throughout practices throughout preseason uh our goal for this year really with team bonding is just have team dinners maybe before weekend games try and get together and do like group activities um when we go down for our spring training, we have a lot of team bonding plans, so I think it's really going to bring our close-knit team a lot closer, and we're just going to work throughout the season to keep that on the field during play. So in the past, we've always been really good on defense. We've had a solid defense, great communication, good chemistry with everybody, and this year we're really trying to transition more into the attack and the midfielders and play more of an offensive game. Um, so far, I think that's going really well, and we want to continue our high percentage um, eight meter shots because throughout the years we've been good at those and it'd be great to continue that. Um, this year is definitely really exciting not only for our lacrosse program but for the entire athletic department as well because with Coach Preston coming in and taking on all of the athletics he um, has really been focused on getting us into the best shape that we possibly can before our sports start and even during and helping us out with whatever we need. Um, being able to go to lift and really like compete with our teammates but still work together. Um, I definitely noticed it in practices. We all feel a lot stronger and a lot 
quick on our feet and um, he's helped us with nutrition and cardio and everything and it's definitely we've seen a really big impact in practices with all that. Yeah I mean so far I've just been impressed with the overall energy um, coming from honestly even our folks who are new to uh, team sports in general they're just excited to be there excited to learn uh, and that's contagious amongst the returners you see the returners out there getting some extra reps and 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 starting to think more on the form and purpose of why they do things instead of just because I do it uh, and that in turn goes back to those those new folks and, and enhances their uh, experience uh, but the energy the growth that we've seen um, from day one of this preseason to now, which is about four and a half weeks, has been, it's just been mind blowing to see where we started and where we are now, uh, which just really helps to uh, instill that commitment to process and knowing that it does pay off. Um, so the excitement's there, the commitment's there, and you know, just working to really build that culture of accountability where we want to work for each other um, and you know, taking some, some selfish opportunities in order to create better opportunities for our teammates.